my name is Boris Irmas. I'm a friend of uh, Enrique Martinez Celaya, and uh, very graciously he's, he has uh, accepted having a small chat. What is your relationship nowadays with the community, specifically with Wynwood? How, how, from the Wynwood you knew when you moved here to the Wynwood that, that we see nowadays? It's very exciting to, to see that, that evolution. What I'm hoping to contribute to it is the sense that you can, be, you can be an artist committed to your work, but you can be involved with the community. I think I'm much more interested in, in the shaping that is happening. It's clear that Miami in general, and Wynwood in particular, are shaping into something. The question is, what is that something? It may be that we are in that moment where it's attractive enough for people to come and inexpensive enough to encourage people to settle in here. You recently unveiled Tower of Snow on the newly created park uh, by Freedom Tower. I also understand this project was generated completely here from, from Wynwood, from your studio in Wynwood. So what can you tell us about that? For a long, long time, I have considered my experience as a Cuban exile, my, my feelings about it, to be very much my own, like very particular to me and very individual. And then a few years ago, I began to read about the Operación Pedro Pan, and I was very moved by what I, what I read and what I saw. gifted artist but you're an accomplished physicist and uh, you studied uh, at uh, UC Berkeley and uh, you pursue a PhD uh, up to date you have uh, patents uh, with royalty generating patents on laser delivery systems I understand so so you made the decision as well uh, not to pursue physics as, as, uh, as a professional area and, and focus in, in, in the arts. So how did you balance all of that and, and, and what made you take the decision and what did you tell us a little bit, advice especially to younger people in terms of uh, taking the time to, to make their own decisions and, and even going a different path in life? So I came to this crossroads um, and to make a long story short I went to a to a lighthouse, a hostel in a lighthouse, and I spent five days thinking what I should do, whether to be a scientist or be an artist. And I wrote all my notes from that day, those five days, and when I came back, I decided that I was going to be an artist. I think that in my own life, so many breakthroughs have come from essentially left field. Any problem you encounter in whatever discipline you're in, um, ha the solution for it has to exist somewhat outside of the parameters you have set up for yourself. Because the parameters are the ones that brought about the problem. You have to kind of invent, inform, recruit things from other places that allow you to have a different vision. Thank you very much, Enrique, for your time. and. Uh Thank you all.